Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you the two column proof in triangle congruence. So in this lesson, you need to familiarize all the def definitions, postulates and theorems on triangle congruence. Go to our video or playlist to watch our definitions, theorems and postulates. Now let's have our problem number one. So we have the given, so this is our given, the illustration, AB is congruent to DB, okay, and C is the midpoint of AD, so C is the midpoint of AD. Now we're going to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle D. B, C. Okay, in writing two column proof, we have here our first column for this statement and the second column for the reasons. Okay, so in our statements and reason, we need to write first all the given. So our given is AB is congruent to DB. Okay. That is our first given reason, given. Second given, C, C is the midpoint of, is the midpoint of AD, AD. That is also given. Now, after writing all the given, Use all your previous knowledge about the definitions, postulates, and theorems. In our given, C is the midpoint, no, midpoint of AD. We know that midpoint bisect the parts of the triangle into two equal parts. So, we can say that AC is equal to CD. So, we can say that AC is congruent to CD. CD. That is, by definition of midpoint. Okay. Midpoint bisect the segment into two equal or congruent parts. Now, We have side and another side, okay. We can say that BC for this BC is congruent to BC. That is by reflexive property of congruence okay reflexive property of congruence BC is equal to BC now study our illustration we can say that triangle A B C is congruent to triangle D B C D B C that is by side 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 postulate or the SSS postulate and that ends our two column proof so we have five statements and five reasons. Let's proceed to our second example. 